Hey guys! It's always nice when your kids can deliver a handmade gift. Today Avery and her friend Harlow are here to help me make this delicious eggnog bread in a jar and then they're going to decorate them to become the perfect holiday gift. All right, so let's go through our ingredients. For the dry ingredients, you'll need flour, baking powder and salt, cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves, and some sugar. And for your wet ingredients, you need butter, eggs, Greek yogurt, vanilla, and eggnog. All right, so let's get started with our bread. It's super easy, we're making it in the mixer today. The first step is to add our melted butter, and then Harlow, can you grab the sugar for me? Thank you very much, and dump it right in. All right, first time guys, nailed it. All right, and then I will close this up and get it started. Looks like good stuff already, right? Sugar, butter? Yeah. yeah. All right, now that that's all mixed up, let's add our egg. Harlow, you can put that guy in there. And then let's do a little bit of Greek yogurt. And I love the texture this adds to the bread. And now we've got a little bit of vanilla. You wanna dump that in? Avery and I love the smell of vanilla, do you? Yeah. It smells so good, right? And then you guys, of course, we need some eggnog. And I have to say, we experimented with two different types, did we not, Aves? We did a little bit of recipe testing. We've got some almond milk eggnog, and then we have some regular eggnog. And which one did you like, Aves? I like this one, because it was a little sweeter. Yes, it's also a lot richer. I really liked the consistency of the almond milk eggnog, because it was lighter and fluffier, and not quite as sweet, which I like. Which do you think you're gonna like? I like the traditional eggnog. Yeah, okay. Well, yes, we're gonna add one for Avery. All right, tiebreaker, Harlow. Harlow broke the tie, of course, with her friend here. Okay, so let's add our eggnog. Now, when I mix this, it is gonna smell so good. It always smells good. All right, should we do it? Yeah. All right, now that our wet ingredients are mixed up, Harlow, will you mind scraping down the batter? Okay. All right. All the way down there. Push it, push it, push it. Yep, perfect, that's right. Do you like to bake? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to make? Banana bread. <gasps> Ooh, have you ever had eggnog bread before? No. It is so good. Avery is obsessed. All right, so now that we've got this scraped down, let's add our flour. I will sprinkle this in. Boop, 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 boop. All right, and then I have a little bit of baking powder and salt. Harlow, will you dump that in for me, darling? Okay. Thank you. And then we've got our spices, and this really is a great complement to our eggnog. So we have some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some cloves. You wanna smell? Let me smell. Mm. So smells good, interesting. Right? <laughs> Not good, just interesting? Well, tastes like, smells like Christmas. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna get that sprinkled in here and then turn it on low so we don't splash our all flour. I'm gonna know. All right, now that our batter is mixed up, we are going to put it into our mason jars. We have two different kinds today. Now the key when we're filling these up is not to fill them past halfway because they do rise. So I'm gonna let you guys do the honors. And you also wanna avoid getting a lot on the side because it will start to burn, but you can always wipe it down if that happens, which it will. There we go. Oh yeah, you're nailing it over there. <laughs> I told you, see? You just do the best job you can. You can also put the batter into a Ziploc bag and then just cut off the tip and pipe it in, but. Hey, that was a better idea. <laughs> Good job. And I thought I was a pro. It's hard, right? Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, while the girls are scooping it in, I'm gonna go around the edges and just clean this up a little bit. Everyone makes mistakes. And that way. Is this good? <gasps> Such a good job. I love it, love it, love it. Carlo, what's your favorite holiday tradition? Uh, sleeping over at my aunt's every um, Christmas. Oh, that sounds so fun. Avery, what's on your list? Maybe um, a pup, another puppy. Oh gosh. Well, I love Teddy and all, but I need another one. And I'm sure Brooks is asking for that German Shepherd. <laughs> All right, now that they're in their mason jars, we need to put the mason jars onto a baking sheet, and then this goes into our 325 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Our bread is out of the oven. We've let it cool completely, and now for the moment the girls have been waiting for, what are we doing? Decorating. But I'm gonna leave for this part, and they are gonna take over. You guys ready? Yes. yes. All right, high fives, high fives. Best of luck. Okay, so we're gonna make the Santa one, right? Yeah. So basically, we're gonna take our first one, We've got some felt. I think we should measure it. Should we? Okay. There we go. And can you cut on those lines? Yes, I can. 
Mom, I need another pair of scissors. You got it, kiddo. We're gonna make the belt. Let's get hot glue in. There we go. There's this part. Can you hand me the belt? Thanks. What did you get last year for Christmas? I got an American Girl doll. I think one of my favorite presents that I've gotten over every year, it was Ryder. I asked for him for Christmas, actually. Yep, that's perfect. Let's peel this bad boy. This for the belt buckle. Yep. We're all done in the Santa. I would like to do the present one next. Okay. So we should take some ribbon. Okay, so now, should we measure it? Sure. That's good, now it's right here. There we go. Okay, so now let's attach this guy. And let's go up with the Christmas present. Yes! High five, yeah. that part's done. Yes. I mean, screw this one on. Perfect. Happy holidays. Now we're gonna make a reindeer. Cut them into quarters, right? Yeah. You're gonna hot glue the pom-pom ball, right? That's perfect. Now, do you wanna stick on the eyeballs? Okay. And I've just made one antler, and I'm gonna put it right on. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, guys, the girls went to town. They made everything from reindeer to snowman to Santa. I think you guys did such a good job. High fives. Now we get to eat. Mmm. <laughs> so good. This is so yummy. More. <laughs> we hope you guys give this recipe a try and have fun decorating your mason jars. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.